Hello and welcome back to another Computer Sluggish tutorial. Before we get started, have you subscribed to my YouTube channel yet? If not, be sure to click on the big red subscribe button on my main page. And once you have done this, don't forget to click on that bell to be the first to get notified when I upload a new video. In today's video, I will be showing you how to install Andy and a Droid Emulator. This is an extremely good emulator, but if I'm being totally honest, I think it was good back in the day. I find this Android emulator pretty outdated now. Even though it does still run a lot of the Android games absolutely fine, I just think like straight away on their website, as you can see here, they've got Windows XP with the preview of Android emulator on. That's just a fine example of how behind I think they are when you compare them against Nox Player, Blue Stacks, and all the other Android emulators. Anyway, to start off with, first you need to head on over to the link that's in the description below, and you will end up on a page that looks like this. Once you're on this page, you need to simply press download on this image, or you can go to the top here and press download as well. You now need to go save file, and once the file has finished downloading, we can now run the setup file. This emulator is extremely good if you are using a old computer. Like I said, it, it is a little bit outdated, which means it does run great on the older machines. We now need to go next, and we want to go decline because we don't want to install McAfee Web Advisor. Once Andy Emulator has finished installing, it will open up automatically. If yours hasn't opened up, don't worry because there should be some shortcuts on your desktop, as you can see here. And if not, just simply go down to the bottom left hand corner of your screen and type in Andy. And then you'll be able to start Andy Launcher here. Once you are on the program, you will now be displayed with a little welcome window. We just need to go ahead and press got it. And this is what Andy emulator looks like. And straight away, as you can see, it's as if you're on a mobile phone. They have gone with the mobile phone approach with the emulator, rather than if we open up Bluestacks, they've got their own interface. I'm happy with the look of Andy emulator, but I do find Bluestacks GUI a lot easier just to get around and do things. Anyway, it's time to set up our Play Store so we can actually download games. You now need to click on the Play Store and you now need to sign into your Google account. If you don't have a Google account, don't worry because you can head on over to google.com in your web browser and you can sign up for an account for free. Once you have done this, you now need to go ahead and sign in. And once you have finished signing in, straight away you will now be on the Google Play Store. And as you can see, there are lots of games on here you will be able to try out and play on your new Andy emulator. I hope this tutorial has helped. If it has, hit the like button below and subscribe for more computer sluggish tutorials.